Installed Historian web-based clients? Ready to get the certificates installed? Hi, I'm Kathleen. I'm a tech writer here at G-Digital, and I'm going to walk you through the installation process. So you're first going to export the certificate from your browser, and then you're going to import. So double-click the Configuration Hub icon on the desktop to launch it from a Google Chrome web browser. So click Not Secure in the URL right here, and then you're going to click Certificate. From the Certificate dialog box, click the Certificate Path tab. And confirm that the root certificate is selected, so the top one in the list right here. And then you want to click View Certificate. Click the Details tab and select Copy to File. Click Next. Select the DER encoded binary X509 SIR format and then click Next. Click Browse to provide a file name and location and save it to the desktop. Click Save and then Next and then Finish. And then click OK. Now to import the certificate, the Windows desktop, right click the certificate file that you just created and select Install Certificate. The certificate import wizard appears. So in the stores location, you're going to click Local Machine and then click Next. Select Place All Certificates in the Following Store option and then click Browse. Select the Trusted Root Certification Authorities and then click OK. Be sure you don't let the wizard select the option for you here or you're going to install the certificate into the wrong store. Security warning window may appear and if it does, just ignore the message by clicking Yes and the certificate is installed. Click Next and then finish and close the browser. Make sure you don't forget to close the browser. And then you're going to double click the configuration hub icon on the desktop. Select machine name as historian option, so this one right here. When the login screen appears, it's very important that you enter the UAA credentials that you entered during the historian web client install. For example, here I'm using blue.admin and the password I configured during the historian web client install. Now, if no messages appear, the certificate was successfully imported. This concludes our walkthrough. Thank you for watching.